This is the Nothing Phone 2 and when people first look at it, they're either gonna go wow or why. These fancy LEDs called Glyph Interface by Nothing are the talking point of this phone. However, your experience with this smartphone will depend on more than just these LEDs. So here is the deal. We'll keep the discussion on these glyphs for the end and first try to evaluate this smartphone in other core areas. So let's go. The exposed rear look on this phone is retained from the Phone 1 and it adds loads of personality to the Phone 2. This new grey colour option looks quite cool as well. However, hold the Nothing Phone 2 in your hand and you are immediately reminded of the iPhone Pro Max. This smartphone is big and boxy. Sure, its rear glass panel is slightly curved around the edges, but its sheer size ensures that it's not the most comfortable thing to grip. Another iPhone inspiration comes in the form of the volume rocker which is on the left side instead of being on the right. It might take some time getting used to. The iPhone inspiration does not stop there. But this third one works in favour of this phone. The display bezels are symmetrical which contributes significantly to the Phone 2's premium appearance. Also, the selfie camera punch hole has been repositioned to the centre as opposed to the side on the Nothing Phone 1. The Nothing Phone 2 can take two 5G SIM cards but there's no place for memory expansion. You do get up to 512 GB of internal storage but variant upgrades are rather expensive. We'll talk more about this later on in the video. The optical in display fingerprint scanner on the Nothing Phone 2 works well but its positioning is too low for comfort. The phone has an IP54 rating as well but I think Nothing should have aimed for IP67 with this device. As for the display, the 6.7 inch OLED on the Nothing Phone 2 is a top notch panel. This 120Hz display comes with LTPO tech which is the first in the upper mid range segment. It is also vibrant and contrast rich and boasts a maximum brightness of 1600 nits. The Nothing Phone 2 is powered by Nothing OS 2 which is pretty much on its way to become the best custom Android skin. It's clean and minimalist and you get zero bloatware on this device. That's right, no pre-installed apps, no spammy notifications and no glance lock screen. In fact, the overall look of the OS has a unique black and white aesthetic which feels absolutely amazing. However, it's disappointing that Nothing does not have custom icons available for a lot of apps. But still, Nothing OS 2 will bring back the memories of the simplicity and fluidity of Oxygen OS from a few years back. Coming to internals, you get a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset on this smartphone which is quite close to flagship levels of performance. You get 8 or 12 GB of RAM. This makes the Nothing Phone 2 quite a solid performer overall. However, I must mention that while you can play demanding games on the Phone 2, the frame does tend to get warm pretty quickly. The Nothing Phone 2 gets two 50 megapixel cameras at the back. The main sensor is a Sony IMX890 with OIS while the ultrawide sensor is a Samsung GN1. This phone's camera system cannot quite beat flagship phones of the world but for an upper mid-range smartphone, it actually is quite good. The main 50 megapixel camera produces great photos with a slight saturation boost and good levels of detail. The camera's dynamic range in challenging scenarios is good enough by segment standards. On the other hand, the camera's nighttime performance is a hit or miss as it produces soft photos and has the tendency to lose focus. You can use glyph lights as the filler flash at night, but either way, the results are not very impressive. Videos from the main sensor come out to be quite stable and saturation rich in daylight. However, low light videos are not much impressive. The 50 megapixel ultra wide camera is better than most 8 megapixel cameras on similarly priced phones. Its photos are sharp without much barrel distortion. But color consistency with the main camera needs to be improved. Thanks to its high resolution, the ultra wide camera can also shoot decent quality videos at 4K 30fps. Selfies from the 32 megapixel front camera come out to be quite natural without skin softening. Dynamic range is pretty decent as well. The Nothing Phone 2 comes with a 4700 mAh battery in an era where 5000 mAh batteries are becoming the norm. But Nothing is fairly good at optimizations, so you can expect roughly 7 to 8 hours of screen on time with this phone. The Phone 2 also supports 45 watts of wired fast charging. But there is no bundle adapter, 
and it would surely pinch you in this case because the Nothing Phone 2 is already priced on the higher side. That being said, the option of wireless charging with reverse wireless charging is a welcome addition. While all its talents are accounted for, Nothing is still counting heavily on the Glyph interface of this phone to lure you into buying one. While it appears quite similar to the phone once, the Glyph interface is updated and more functional here. You see, the broken Glyph pattern makes this second Glyph on the right display the volume level and act as a timer bar as well. It can also sync with third-party apps, but the support is non-existent as of now. And it remains to be seen how many developers are willing to add support for this feature. And that brings me to a fundamental problem. After the novelty wears off, you'd have to consciously get used to placing this phone upside down for the entire Glyph interface to actually make sense. And trust me, that is easier said than done. So, Glyphs are cool and all, but I will not recommend buying this phone solely for these flashy lights. So, the Nothing Phone 2 is a jack of all trades with a healthy dose of flair thanks to its design. Even if you don't care about the Glyph interface, it can still be on your bucket list because of its clean software and great display. However, its upper variants can get quite expensive because there is a 5000 rupee jump between each variant. But if the Nothing Phone 1's price is anything to go by, do watch out for one of those flip card sales to get an amazing deal on this smartphone.